I'm Dr. Mark Fryman from the Hodes Pancreatic Cancer Center. Today's medical tutorial is on the Whipple procedure. The indications for the Whipple procedure are pancreatic cancer, most typically adenocarcinoma, less typically neuroendocrine tumors, ampullary carcinoma, or cancer of the ampulla of Vater, is also a common indication. Duodenal cancer, chronic pancreatitis are other indications for the Whipple procedure. The Whipple procedure is performed under general anesthesia, epidural analgesia for postoperative pain control is common. The procedure takes about three hours for uncomplicated cases and four to five hours for more complex cases involving resection of the portal superior mesenteric vein confluence. The ICU stay is approximately one night. Hospital stay varies between seven to ten days. The first part of the procedure is called the duodenal cocherization. The pancreas is in yellow, the duodenum is in gold, and the inferior vena cava is in blue. The duodenal cocherization involves incision of the retroperitoneal lining with exposure of the undersurface of the head and uncinate process of the pancreas and the anterior exposure of the inferior vena cava. It is by performing a duodenal cocherization that the surgeon can palpate the superior mesenteric artery inferiorly to get a sense of the relationship between the tumor and the vessels. In addition, the anterior exposure of the inferior vena cava is critical to performing the procedure safely. We next tend to proceed in a north direction by beginning the portal dissection. The porta hepatis contains the hepatic artery, the portal vein, and the common bile duct. The portal dissection is depicted in this animation as shown above. The common bile duct is in green, the hepatic artery in red, the portal vein in blue, and the pancreas in gold. The surgeon begins by division of the common bile duct, division of the gastroduodenal artery, and, ant and exposure of the anterior surface of the portal vein. The lesser sac is widely opened, exposing the entire pancreas, the superior mesenteric vein, and the superior mesenteric artery inferiorly. A different view exposes the neck of the pancreas. The relationship between the neck of the pancreas and the superior mesenteric vein is illustrated in this animation. One can see the small vessels from the superior mesenteric vein that supply the uncinate and head of the pancreas. Two arterial branches, named the inferior and superior pancreaticoduodenal vessels, are illustrated here in red. They supply the, they, they supply the majority of the, the arterial blood flow to the head and uncinate process. The portal vein is here, the neck of the pancreas is here, the superior mesenteric vein is here, 
The hepatic artery with ligation of the gastroduodenal artery is depicted here in a live from a live photo. Pancreatic neck division and removal of the uncinate process from the mesenteric vessels is the key to performing a safe procedure. As one can see in this animation, the uncinate and head have been dissected free of the retroperitoneum, superior mesenteric vein, and superior mesenteric artery. At that point, the tumor is removed after division of the duodenum and ligament of trites. The reconstruction is then begun. The pancreatic ojejunostomy or a term for the anastomosing or suturing of the jejunum to the pancreas is performed in usually in a duct to mucosa fashion using two layers. This anastomosis is depicted here in the slide. Just downstream to the jejunum, a hepaticojejunostomy is performed by suturing the common bile duct or common hepatic duct in green to the jejunum. The last part of the reconstruction is the resuturing of the duodenum to the jejunum in cases of what is, what is termed pyloric preservation. In, in Whipple's procedures where the antrum is resected, a gastrojejunostomy is performed. This is a live photo demonstrating the pancreatic ojejunostomy, the hepatic ojejunostomy, and the duodenojejunostomy. Whipple procedure is a complex operation that should be performed in specialized centers such as the Hodes Pancreatic Cancer Center. We are a high volume center performing this procedure quite frequently. We have outstanding outcomes with minimal mortality and morbidity. We perform expert second opinions and can be reached at 1-855-88-HODES. <laughs>